Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the RimWorld. Last episode, we finally got off to a little bit of an eventful start. Uh, she managed to successfully build and defend her base from some predators. And right now, she's running to pick off some plasteel. And then we're going to basically immediately start this off with a pause, but I'll show you what I'm going to do before we pause. Get a bunch of steel. Just like... All the steel. Extend this. Because so I know it's going to at least take up this much space. Well, how is she doing on food? Alright, she's not quite starving yet. I am so glad we took out that lynx. But here's the construction project I'm going to do. I'm going to fix this, this, and this and double insulate that, so that way the heat from here doesn't spill over. So you can see it's a little too warm in there for my comfort. Shit! Gene's probably gonna die from that infection. Prioritize sending them to yourself. She does have the super immune trait, so we'll see. But all we can do is hope. Oh, she, she's getting hungry. Consume him first. Really food poisoning, too. Alright. Well, I hope she survived all this, because I didn't exactly save between episodes, because I am in commitment mode. Isn't that transport quad? What do they have on them? Alright. We are going to have to send her out, even though she's injured and not feeling too happy. Because I need to strip her and get that parka. I know, I'm sorry, girl. But trust me, it'll help your life. And you need it before this lady dies. Actually, before she gets up. I think this will still be faster than going around with her current movement speed. Can be tended in two hours. Yeah, throw up all you want. Just, just, just throw up all you want. Just get the parka first. Force wear that. There we go. See, that'll make you feel better. The infection doing. Oh, tend faster. You're gonna need to eat as soon as you get back. Eat the snow hair. And don't have a mental break. It's not fair. It's not fair. Should be recovered from this. All because it's stupid lynx teeth. She's gonna die from that infection. I almost guarantee it. Oh, well, her immunity climbs really fast when she's resting. So. Maybe we can have her focus on bed rest. She might just make it. How's she doing health-wise? Nope. Rest until healed. It's literally your only chance. I think she's going to barely make it if she does. Holy shit. Alright. 
So I don't want her. Jean. Oh, you're down, but you're okay. It's fine. Build a snowman. What does that put your temperature down to? That's negative 12. You can at least survive out here now. Prioritize hauling that. And consume that. Alright. We're going to pause for a minute, because after that, she's just going to focus on mining and building. And she's going to be wandering around in the days for a bit. Really? Like, I know you're upset and you're hungry, but you're... Like, two feet away from it. And yeah, you're sick, but come on. You'll be unsick soon. Anyway, I'll be back. But the good news is, she's still got a psychotic wandering going on, but she, uh... managed to go back, sleep, and eat. So, hopefully her mood will fucking snap her out of this soon, and she can come haul this corpse before it's too late. So that's what we're dealing with. She ate, so she'll be out of this. We'll be back when something happens. Alright, we're back. She's just hauling some stuff. But she got another case of bad food poisoning. This time for me and the Lynx Corpse. I snagged... I don't know why I took the granite table, because I like the slate table better. But I just stole one of these free big tables. I'm actually going to deconstruct that granite into bricks. At some point I'm going to turn this into a base. I'm letting her run over. Basically letting her haul away. Because I'd like to have her build more stuff next, but while she's puking, have I gotten at least 100 over there? I want to get at least 100 over there before I start the next couple projects. Alright, so while she hauls that next one, we can queue up the steel research bench. I'm going to put here. I okay, slowly haul that while she's sick. Keep an eye out for wildlife. Oh, it sucks because she can only carry. She can basically carry nothing. So, and she's just got this long list of debuffs. And I know you're super hungry. Oh shit! There's a snow here. Uh, you should be able to eat this lynx next, and then go after that snow here, which hopefully will move closer by then. But either way, we're going to let her sleep. Go club a thing. Alright, that's enough sleep. It's no hair time. We need to get it before it wanders off the map. Normally, I wouldn't recommend running clear across the map for a snow hare, but we're kind of down to a couple of meals left, and she can survive it in the temperature. All right. So, we'll pause again until she finishes heal. Finishes up. What else do I need? I wanted furniture. Steel stool. And then we're going to start researching... I want complex clothing first, I think. No, complex furniture.
Yeah, complex furniture. Oh good, she actually managed to have enough time to go and grab those. So, there's not much happening right now. She's going to go haul some pants. Haul some more metal. I'll probably mine out a little bit more. And then I'm actually going to deconstruct that. Deconstruct all this. Marble, we don't care. But all this stuff that is steel, we're going to deconstruct. And granite. Be back when all that's done or something interesting happens. And not super long after that, we had a transport, another transport pod crash, so... I really don't care what she is, we're not going to take her. The important thing is how far away is she, because if we can get there before, like, strip her before we get... Before she dies... Be nice. Did she eat the rabbit? Okay. We're eating the rabbit before the people, because, uh... Well, she still had the catharsis move bonus, so... How long is Eve dead for? Knock it. Actually, no. Haul that. Because I bet you that's still worth more than either of these. Oh, the good news is we got at least another corpse. So, we're going to pause again, okay, until something interesting happens. Or we get everything deconstructed and pulled back. Alright, so we did get one more incident happen. We have a uh, war merchant coming by, which we'll let them get closer. In the meantime, because Jean's going crazy from being recreation starred, I'm letting her build a hoopstone ring, catch a little sleep. While she sleeps, I'm going to do a little cheat. It's not really a cheat, it's just... There's a stockpile zone. There's a stockpile zone. I should be able to sell those when they get here. I also had her manage to haul up that corpse. And I found this is also a granite floor. Right, so I don't want them to run away. Before she has a chance to trade and let me get rid of all of this crap. I might keep the steel club. Ooh, a muffalo wool parka. We want that. I don't think we can afford it, though. Nope. That would be nice. But we can afford... Not that much pemmican. But we can at least get some. Probably, like, what, 40? 40? Oops. 57 units of pemmican. Which isn't much, but we'll take it. Haul that first before one of their animals eats it. Oops. And that tells me I have this set wrong. No food in here. Yes, food in there. But that's fine. She can go for a walk. She's a little recreation starved. I accidentally deconstructed some slate anyway, so how much is it for a game of er? 35. So I shall have enough slate here in a minute. Literally a second, so we'll let her do that. Put that. Honestly, probably there. And then, how much slate does she have left over? 35? Is that enough for a table? <coughs> so I would love that to be enough for a table. Hey. There we go. A little compact.
It's definitely ugly in here, but she's still working on that. All right. All right, before I forget, I need to delete those. Double check the wildlife tab. I'm going to call this an episode. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, take it easy.